This week on Check Please South Florida, a waterfront view and a cool vibe in Stock Island. It's a really great mix of blending into the surrounding but also offering something really new and fresh. Southern charm with a twist in the southernmost city. It's everything you want in a southern quality kitchen. When you walk in, you the smell. Uh -huh. It's all southern. And Mamma Mia, a middle piece spot that tries in the locals for Italian comfort food. It was cooked to perfection. It's like a cream butter sauce, like an egg batter over the fish. Cultural culinary secrets and global flavors. We have a passion for blending ingredients and seasonings from around the world. Additional funding for Check, Please! South Florida is provided by George and Helen Weaver and the Friends of South Florida PBS. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. Crunchy and soft all at the same time. It was good. It wasn't anything special. You can taste everything. The different flavors. Oh my gosh, this is like nothing. It's like eating a cloud. Hello, I'm Michelle Bernstein, and welcome to Check, Please! South Florida, the show where regular people from all over South Florida recommend and review their favorite restaurants. So this is how the show works. Every week, we have three guests. Each recommends his or her favorite spot, and then the other two go to check them out and see what they think. This week, wine consultant Julie Cashel cheers on her choice for its robust flavors with a silky smooth finish. Inside this classic Key West home, you'll find extraordinary dishes served up with a side of Southern charm, with excellent food and good people. And investigator Randy Bikarik has surveyed the scene and he suspects you'll appreciate the classic Italian cuisine at this local favorite in Florida Keys. From the friendly service to the huge homestyle portions, he's ready to testify that it just gets better every time. But first, business owner Margaret Bistre is leading us to try an experience that is unexpected and off the beaten path. Her pick inside the Perry Hotel offers coastal cuisine. From the waterfront view to the low-key vibe, she says it's the culinary experience you've been looking for. It's in Stock Island and it's called Matt's Stock Island Kitchen and Bar. Matt's Stock Island Kitchen and Bar is a restaurant located inside the Perry Hotel, also adjacent to the Stock Island Marina Village. And you're just gonna really see an elevated level of food, service, atmosphere that you're not gonna find anywhere else. We're right on the water, so the fishing boats pull right up, display what fish they have for us. What makes our food American coastal cuisine is we try and pull from all coasts of, of the country. So we have San Francisco influences, we do Alaskan salmon, I'm from the low country of South Carolina, so we have a lot of southern influence. Uh, so we just try and jump, you know, any coast, east or west, and pull the best flavors that we can and present it on the table here. Some of our signature dishes, actually, the one that I think we're most well known for is our seafood tower. You get samples of oysters, Key West pink shrimp, local stone crab claws, ahi tuna tartare, ceviche, and then all kinds of sauces, mignonette cocktail, uh, icy hot sauce, horseradish, and it's just displayed really beautiful and kind of shows that we're, we're a really seafood-centric restaurant. When people come in here to eat, we want them to feel super comfortable. We want them to feel at home. Uh, we're not a pretentious restaurant. We want you here for your anniversaries and your holidays. We want you to come here because you're hungry on a Tuesday afternoon also. Matt Stock Island Kitchen and Bar is an elevated twist on American coastal comfort food. So tell me a little bit about the restaurant. Now tell me about the food, <laughs> tell me about the space. So you walk in and there's this really cool, edgy design and a lot of um, local artists, historic black and white photographs. So it's a really great mix of blending into the surrounding but also offering something really new and fresh. Chefs came from Charleston, South Carolina, so you definitely have that um, southern comfort, you know, yummy food that people mm -hmm. love from the deep south. That soul kissing food, soul, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, they make, they make great uh, southern standards, but then being on um, on Stock Island where the shrimp boat come in and the fishing boats come in, um, they really take advantage of that and they celebrate that and use local seafood to the, to the utmost. So what did you have this last time you went in? I had what I usually have, which is um, you have the catch of the day and they usually have two or three selections and then you can actually choose your sauce and preparation. So, so what do. was your catch? So I had, um, I did do the salmon because I just really was, uh, okay. I know, I so know. So maybe Here, not I'm so much about from local seafood, the case, but, but anyway. Um, but it was, it's wild 
wild salmon, which is just, you know, this brief season, and I just thought, I'm gonna have them prepare, you know, some wild salmon for me. The other choice was mahi, which I love, and I had the ceviche of the mahi, so I did have that. So tell me about the salmon. What so, sauce did you choose um, with it? I had the chimichurri, and okay. they bring it on the side, and, you know, the salmon was just so fresh and so perfectly done, so right. I just kind of drizzled it. So fresh and so wonderfully, right. so you just have to treat it simply, and, and that's what they do. So. Randy? Um, our friend Terry had the mahi, mm -hmm. and my wife Nancy had the lobster, which she loved. And yours? I had fish and chips. And then what was that like? It was it was good. It was good. Um, it was a small piece of fish. There were many of them, but mm -hmm. you know it was a little little greasy in my opinion. Oh, was it a little greasy? Just a little bit. Was it nice and crunchy batter though? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the chips were fries. Mm -hmm. They were great. The French. Big I love French fat fries. fries or skinny fries. Skinny. Okay. Skinny. Tartar sauce? Of course. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. All right. Julie? <laughs> I, I like the Perry Hotel. And, um, as you said, it's just, it, it was really good, and there's so much to choose from. Um, I had the uh, uh, fried green tomatoes. Delicious. And How did that was come? Very, very good. It did have a, a, uh, a bacon jam on mm -hmm. the side, which I'm not a big fan of bacon, but right. it's my friends who were, loved it. More than anything, we should preface that you're pretty much a vegetarian. Pretty much, sometimes yes. Sometimes you'll dip into the, the fish seafood category, That's but correct. not too often. And being a wine consultant, we have to do that. So it's, it's, and it's great. But the fried green tomato, they had a uh, pimento cheese also with that. It was so good. It was so good. Oh, so good. So good. I, I love pimento cheese. It's such a southern yeah. staple. It really is. And um, I, the fish dip which was delicious. I love smoked fish dip. I'm a big fan of that. They had the crackers and the vegetables. There was so much to choose from. I mean, the, it really is lunch and dinner. I mean, it's the way that they do everything. Is, it's a lot. So you have to go back to get all the flavors and to, you know, to take advantage of, of the restaurant for sure. Right. And the, being on the marina, it's, it's, it's very great. It's beautiful, right? Yes, it is. Can I just add one thing, though? Because I agree, the menu has like, bacon and pork belly and so many things, but almost always you can get it without. Like, for mm -hmm. example, I had the baked potato on the side with, and they make a homemade cheese with sauce, which is so good, and it normally comes with bacon. Oh, okay. And I just left it off. Anybody drink anything fun? Just wine. <laughs> <laughs> wine, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I did. I had uh, the Sauvignon Blanc. I sent me Sauvignon Blanc. And it, it, again, that's a great wine. It just really went with everything that I had at that it time. goes well with the southern food, it doesn't does. it? Yeah. It does. It does. Did have a cocktail as well. I can Did comment on that. I have to talk about their cocktails. I had the the Hemingway Daiquiri, and they do a lot of um, classic cocktails there, and they do like a little twist or a variation, and they do uh, grapefruit juice there, and then a sugar rim, and it's just. I do love the Hemingway. That's actually my favorite it's, daiquiri. That's I think. a great daiquiri. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. And and it comes, you know, filled to the brim, and I don't know how that waiter gets it to the table without sloshing it is pretty pretty <laughs> impressive. Pretty impressive, no doubt. <laughs> You yeah. actually had dessert. Yeah, we did. And do you remember what that was? Um, I had a banana marble cake and ice cream sandwich with uh, had the chocolate chip cookies on each side. It was good. It was good. You did notice, and I think that you wrote about this, that it wasn't really your typical Keys kind of a place. Is no. that correct? No, it's not. And I mean, that's what you mentioned, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, I'm not a big fan it's of Southern cooking. Industrial so, looking, I mean, it's yeah, kind of hard for me mm -hmm. to, to really get into it, you know. How can you not like Southern cooking? Uh, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right on the water, and the location is beautiful. And I, I'm a scuba dive instructor, so I, I'm on the water a lot. And right. one of the boats we go out on is right there. You can literally see and watch the, um, the boats creaking there, fishing boats come in, you know, so you have this sort of polished hotel, but then you still have salty characters. So I love that kind of, that mix. It's yeah. fantastic, mm -hmm. it really is. Good, well, Margaret, yes. uh, Matt Stock Island Kitchen was your choice, sum it up for us. Matt Stock Island is old Key West with um, sort of upgraded to a new modern aesthetic, very friendly and really great service and a variety of food from Southern Comfort to um, celebrating local seafood. Nice. Randy? Yeah, I think it was you know, great service and a wide variety of food. I think if you're looking for something different, you'll have a really good time there. Julie? It's what Key West or Stock Island needed. I think it's a great diversity, and yeah, it's a great addition to, uh, to what they have. Well, for a true standout in the Florida Keys, Matt Stock Island Kitchen and Bar is the place to be. Located at 7001 Shrimp Road in the Perry Hotel, open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Reservations are accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $65. Today we're breaking away from the studio and we're here in Key West, 
and we're joined by Alex Beaumont, executive chef of the Casa Marina and The Reach, Waldorf Astoria Resorts. So what are we making today, Alex? We're going to do a pan sear Key West pink shrimp uh -huh. with squid ink hummus. All right, go for it. I'm going to ask you a couple questions as sure. you cook, if that's okay. So um, what makes Key West pink shrimp so special? Well, they're really hard to come by. Uh -huh. uh, they just come by a couple times a year, and they're probably the best shrimp you can find on the market. Definitely sweeter. So what are you dusting that in? Uh, this is wonder flour. It helps for the crispiness. That's it funny. Gives it a nice my little uh, flavor. And okay. then we're going to add uh, a little bit of a garlic. Yep. And then we're going to have some shallots. There we go. Then we have those beautiful tomatoes from uh, Homestead. Okay. I'm going to throw a little bit of edamame too as well. Edamame being the soybeans. We have a few croutons. And don't forget the, the most important ingredient is the salt. The salt, right. Yeah, always. A little pepper. Shall I press the lime juice? Yeah, that would be awesome. You can do that. So we're going to deglaze a pan of little lime juice there. Okay. And in finishing, I'm going to do a little bit of lemon zest. So that's citrusy. You've got the brightness of the yep. tomato, the brightness of the lime, and the lemon zest. With the hummus, it's, it's going to taste wonderful. Yeah, it's just going to pop. So talk to me about your record player. Yeah, I'm a, I like to think outside the box. I had a whole record player laying in my basement, and I came up with this idea here to make the plate spin, do some plate design. I have never seen this before. Do the hummus right in the middle there. And uh, here you go. You just go around and... That's it, awesome. It makes a beautiful oh, it really, oh, my goodness. Could you do like 500 plates like this? Uh, I've done 300. Have you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One by one. Wow. That so is that hilarious. It's a very nice presentation. I think three is probably the number here. And here we go. We have a beautiful Lovely. plate. It's beautiful. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Happy to have you. Thank you. Everything here has been delicious so far. Good. Thanks a lot. The taste of the Florida Keys is just a step away. Check out my recipe at checkpleasefl.com. Now wine consultant Julie Cashel offers a toast to her charming choice for a memorable meal. It's in the southernmost city where it's often tough to find a hearty southern meal, but she's sure you'll be saying OMG after every bite. She calls it the sweetest little spot in Key West and it's called Firefly. Firefly Key West is a new American Southern restaurant with a heavy emphasis on scratch. Our jam is made from fresh berries. We grind our sausage for the sausage gravy. We cure our pork. I think that that's what Southern food is. Doing it all yourself. Shrimp and grits, fried chicken, biscuits and gravy, all the staples, but just with a lot of love and care put into the preparation of them. And done with newer technique, you know, I'm classically French trained, and I like to bring that influence into it. I try to connect the best sources. I work with local fishermen, and I'm as farm to table as I can be. You get good quality, put some love into it, and I think it shows. I really feel like Trish and I have made this place what it is. You know, it's our, our personalities. We want everybody to have an experience. You know, we're not just putting food in your mouth. You know, like we want you to sit down and enjoy it. Firefly Key West, it's, it's just a place where everybody's welcome. Key West is known for its, its misfits, and we're a collection of misfits. And we make good food, and we care about your experience. I love the name of this restaurant. It's I really, great. I really do. It I really it's is. Adorable. It, and it used to be a home, right? It did. It used to be a home, and it's in a place called Bahama Village. Mm -hmm. So there's different areas of Key West, and yeah, it's a, it's right on Petronia Street. It's the perfect house and you walk in and you go, my gosh, it's it's everything you want in a southern quality kitchen that you, you're not really, when you walk in, you, the smell, uh -huh. it's all southern and with a house with the stairs, it's incredible. Lovely. So yeah. what did you have this last time? I had the shrimp and grits. Very spicy. I love mm -hmm. spicy food. Uh, the biscuits are, they're known for that too. And then uh, they do, so they get their fish every day. Mm -hmm. If the fish is not caught that day, then they won't make a special. But that day they, they did, so they had, I had the uh, wahoo, 
which was over uh, grits, uh -huh. and it was as well. Delicious. So you had as shrimp well. grits and then yes, so grits. They had, yes, so you had double yes. grits. They have petite shrimp and grits. Okay, that's the appetizer. So it was and good. I think it had like a beetroot compound butter. Yes, which a beetroot. I love yes. the way that sounds. Yes, Russ it is Burstall delicious. It is an incredible chef. He's a very talented man. So it, yeah, he makes all his everything's from scratch there. So I bet. Good. Randy, yeah. what'd you think? I thought it was good. It wasn't. It wasn't my favorite. <laughs> He's a tough cook. <laughs> I am tough. I am southern cook. Every time just, just, no, you may cook. Do you not like really? southern? Is it? No, it's southern, a southern. It's, it's a heavy southern okay. food. Okay. So it's very. Um, the place is beautiful. It's uh, it's designed to look like an old conch house, but it's new construction. Okay. But um, it was it was great. I mean, we had champagne. And my wife had wine. She had the shrimp and grits, mm -hmm. and she liked it. I did not see, uh, you know, fish on the menu. Otherwise, I would have ordered it. So I ordered the vegetarian special, and it was uh, deep fried broccoli, and then hit with green apples, which I thought was kind of an unusual combination. Interesting. How was it done? Were the green apples raw, well, they or were they raw. cooked? Yeah. Okay. And then it was just sitting on rice. What'd you think, Margaret? I like, I really enjoy Firefly a lot. Um, I almost think of it as, they don't bill themselves as this, but it has that gastropub feel to me mm -hmm. in that you can sit at the bar and they have great craft beer and then they have just great um, small plate things that are just really good with the drink yes. that, that I enjoy a lot. Like I love, I mean the biscuit is just yeah, out of this world. Their They're just, you know, the, the designer biscuit, like fluffy oh. in the inside, mm -hmm. crunchy, so just, yeah. you know, poof, their you open jam it. And their jam oh. is, uh, is the jam. Every, fresh every day, every, everything is fresh every exactly. single day. So does it change yes. all the time? Once in a while they'll do like a peach, if the peaches are in season they'll oh, do peach the and they'll do a mixed berry. Do you order the biscuits or do they just come? You, you order, order them. Okay. Yeah. I'm just a big fan, I think it's been, it's Every time you go in there, you can get something different. But the chicken and waffles are also a very big mm -hmm. staple there mm -hmm. as well. I think they do an amazing job with the fried chicken because it's just that juicy inside and that almost like cookie crust where it's just mm. like yummy, crunchy. Such a great treat. Yes. And it's yeah. delicious. Even their deviled eggs. I mean, yeah. It, homemade. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. And they make their homemade pickles. They, they just. Which brings me to the salad because that's uh, what I love about the, sa the kale salad is that there's so many different textures and they have the, you know, the kale and then a variety of pickles, which I think is such a great... Um, With the salad? Yes. Oh, nice. And then these, um, you know, little, and you could tell they were little heirloom tomatoes because they were, like, streaked and, you know, just kind of uh -huh. a little funky looking. And um, I just feel like there's a lot of love in something like that it salad is. and a lot yeah, of layers chef, and a lot chef of... Yeah. There's a lot of love in, yeah. in his cooking. Makes the pickles. Yes. Right. Yeah, oh, wow. so that... Yeah. It's just special, you know, yeah. it makes it more special. It's nice to see that go out and when people literally see the, the way that the plates are done, it's, it's, it's fascinating. It's, yeah. it, someone shows heart to, uh, to their cooking. You also had a key lime cake? Not yes, a key lime pie, it's but a key nothing lime cake. like it on the island. Yes, it's okay. very good with the cream cheese frosting, and it is green. And it's green. It's green. <laughs> it's, green. It's, it's, green. A, it's a grandma recipe. Yes. Wow. Grandma, grandma, yeah. grandma's green cake. And, and with fresh berries on it, and then the uh, streak of the, red, of the sauce on it mm -hmm. with the powdered sugar. It it's, sounds like it would be very moist. It is yeah, very it moist is. and it's enormous and then when they cut it it's people they oh I'll take two or three slices. I said no you can take one cake. I mean one slice is enough for like literally like two or three people. Randy how was the service? The service was good. It was very good. I, I like to bring up the gastro pub idea. I, I noticed I had all the craft beers yes. and, a, and a great wine selection. Mm -hmm. so I, and it's beautiful inside. It is really nice. Nice. Well, yeah. Julie, Firefly was your pick. Please sum it up. It's a hidden gem. I, I keep saying that to people. For me, the Southern cuisine is probably by far the best. It really is. Randy? I think if you like a nice quiet evening off Duval and like Southern food, you're going to have a great time there. Yeah. Neighborhood, gastro pub, um, feel great Southern food and uh, a lot of chef attention and love there. Well, for a Southern meal in the southernmost city, check into Firefly, located at 223 Petronia Street in Key West. Open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Reservations are accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $55. Finally, investigator Randy Pekarik is hoping you discover his hidden treasure in the Middle Keys. Locals love to gather at this family-style spot where the portions of Italian comfort food are always plentiful. It's a 25-year-old staple where Frank is always in the kitchen. It's in Marathon and it's called Frank's Grill. We have the best Italian south of New Jersey. Back in 2006, my wife Joanna and I decided to open a restaurant called Frank's Grill with the idea that we would serve great food at a reasonable price and that we would treat everyone like family. 
I'm in the kitchen all the time. I've been a chef in the Keys for 30 years. I learned to cook from my father. Plus, my father was born in Italy, so I just, um, I have my heart in it. Everything tastes good. You know, it's like the simple chicken marsalas, the snapper frances, the veal piccatas, the um, fruit of mares. It's just the simple, basic Italian. Snapper frances is one of our signature dishes. We do a big thing with bring your own catch. You're gonna see a lot of people being happy, and it all tastes good. When someone leaves Frank's Grill, I want them to walk away with the, that's the best meal I had in the Keys. So Italian in the Keys, tell it's me. It's really, really good. Their, their menu is extensive. You know, your key, typical Keys seafood menu, which we love, right. and with an Italian flair. I've, I've known Frank for probably close to 20 years when he used to work for his aunt and uncle. He moved up and opened his own place, and it's fantastic. Great for lunch or dinner. So what did you have the last time you went? Everybody had a salad. Okay. We all had wine. Do you know what the salad was like? It was, it was just a nice little dinner salad with Italian dressing. And I just, I think having a little salad with your meal for dinner is perfect. And I had the snapper francese. It was cooked to perfection. It's like a cream butter sauce with uh -huh. an egg, like an egg batter over the sure. fish. It's sure. just delicious. Capers? Yes. And they bring complimentary bread, right, to the yes, table Yes, right in warm? the beginning, and it was fantastic. I just love warm bread, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And the garlic with that. Just yes. The, yeah, the rest yes. of it was, like, it was a plus. It was very, that's very Tell good. me about your experience, Julie. Experience was good. Have uh, you been? That's my first time that I went okay. there. Yeah, uh, we, were, we didn't know what to expect uh, because it was kind of like a strip mall off US 1. Right. When we walked in, it, it smells divine. It was really nice. We had uh, the tomatoes and mozzarella, and it was fresh, and it was amazing because usually mozzarella, it, it's harder a little bit, but you could, you could just see that it was freshly made. I had the Greek salad, and I, I had the grilled snapper on that, which was delicious. It was mm -hmm. very, very good. You can tell the fresh ingredients. And then uh, we also got the fettuccine alfredo, which was delicious. It was very cheesy and very good. And then we had the tiramisu, which was very good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Very is it everything cocoa. you'd ever expect from a tiramisu? It, was it classic? Yes, it was, it was good, yes. It was very rich. Uh -huh. It was enough for two. And I usually don't eat desserts, but I did indulge in that nice. one. Nice. And the wine, yeah, had a nice Pinot Noir there and goes with everything. And yes, again, I didn't know what to expect. So it was mm -hmm. really nice. It was a pleasant surprise, for sure. Lovely. And the service was very, very good. Was it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they were very good. I, 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 like the term, I had the tiramisu too. <laughs> it, it was enough for one because I finished the whole thing. <laughs> and, the, and the ladies each had a cannoli, and, and the cannoli crust was crisp, mm -hmm. and it was the, the filling was fantastic, and I even got a bite of that. So tell <laughs> me, Margaret, how was your uh, I really experience? enjoyed it. It was really nice walking in because um, I felt like it was a place where a lot of people go very often, yes. and then being the first time, I was sort of like, oh. You're new. Hey, welcome. And I was like, your eyes were staring. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm and, sorry, I don't know you. And there's this little <laughs> bar right when you walk in, and it was yeah. a gentleman sitting there, and he said, we'll be right with you. So the minute you walk in, they were, you know, they, they acknowledge you. And Welcoming you into the family. Very much. And that atmosphere of just, you could have be a couple tucked in a corner, or you could bring the whole family and grandma, grandpa, kids. Nice great. So. <laughs> so what did you have? I had a Caesar salad. Had a nice um, pronounced anchovy taste. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think the croutons were homemade, but the dressing definitely um, tasted really well balanced and really well um, constructed. And then my friend had escargot, which I was like, really? You know, and they were good. You know, just they were out of the shell. So just kind of these little the way snails are, little, uh -huh. little flavorful morsels, you know. And then I had the snapper piccata as well, and um, can't say anything wrong about it. I have to say, I was very, I was impressed. I mean, the restaurant is, it's great. It was a great choice. So Thank it you. really yeah. was. And Frank was there, which was yes, always same. very it nice to have him there. I mean, and he, how many years he's been there, and that was also very impressive. Mm. I was. That's mm. awesome. Yeah. It's just really sincere really well made lots of care and just kind of like what you need and expect and it's a restaurant that will always there will always be this type of restaurant and in a good in the best the way restaurants really busy all the time <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah service is great you know mm -hmm. and you just feel like everyone's kind of like side watching and making sure every you know mm -hmm. th they would notice if there was anybody looking unhappy or needing something so i i right. felt like i felt like the 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 serving team worked as as a family as well and it felt very lovely well randy franks was your choice sum it up for us 
This has been one of my favorite restaurants in the Florida Keys for years. It's well worth the drive from Key West or Key Largo down to Marathon or up to Marathon as it may be. Um, it's, it's a great place for locals and it's a great place for snowbirds and it's just a great place to go anytime you feel like it. Julie? Great Italian restaurant. You really do get a, a uh, Italian feel, family. Uh, yeah, I would definitely go back. Margaret? Just Italian and Italian-American comfort food, very familiar, very familiar from your entire life and, um, and just really well done. For old world Italian cuisine in the Keys, visit Frank's Grill located at 11400 Overseas Highway in Marathon. Open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday and only for dinner on Saturdays. Reservations are accepted and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $60. had such a good time with the three of you. I want to thank my guests, Margaret Bistre, Julie Cushell, and Randy Picaric. For more about the restaurants and recipes featured in the show, if you'd like to apply to be a guest reviewer, visit us at checkpleasefl.com and remember to find us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Join us next time for three new guests recommending three of their favorite restaurants right here on Check Please South Florida. I'm Michelle Bernstein and I'll see y'all then. Thank you. Oh, thank, yes, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cultural culinary secrets and global flavors. We have a passion for blending ingredients and seasonings from around the world.